Hi, welcome to the seventh episode of my podcast, Books from Abhinav. I am Abhinav Hansa Raman, your host for this show. Today, we are looking at Deepak Shenoy's Money Wise, Timeless Lessons on Building Wealth, which came out very recently, this November 2021. Deepak Shenoy, the author of the book, is the founder and CEO at Capital Mind, a Bangalore-based investment research and wealth management company. He also runs the Capital Mind podcast on Spotify on finance, money, and wealth. I learned a lot from his episodes on term insurance, health insurance, and how Dhirubhai Ambani survived a bear attack on his precious company. For a great introduction on Deepak, his work, and his philosophy, do check out episode 208 of Amit Varma's The Seen and the Unseen, a brilliant podcast on Spotify. Over the last few months, I picked up an active interest in investing, saving money and figuring out how to not waste my money. This July, I graduated from college and started my professional career. While I didn't make some money freelancing in college, I wasted most of it on food, booze and college shenanigans. While it was a lot of fun back then, I wish I had put it to better use. Working in a fun yet stressful industry, I have realized that if I don't save money or whatever is left of it after paying crazy rents in Bombay, I am only hurting myself by wasting money. If you are somebody like me who has just started making some money and you want to figure out how to not waste it and put it to some productive use, I really think you should read this book. However, if you are somebody who is just starting out their career and wondering why you should take the stress of saving money right now rather than having fun with the first few salaries you make, I would strongly recommend Morgan Housel's Psychology of Money, the review of which is linked in the show notes below. While I was investing a few thousand rupees here and there from March 2020, I realized that I was mainly having fun and was actually wasting money and not really thinking about what I was doing and why I was doing certain things with my money. However, now that life is getting real, I have started to get my money in order. There are two main advantages to this book. First, it gives you basic rules and principles you can adopt to form your own portfolio. Second. It addresses the very basic beginner like myself. So even if you've never seen any index index fund, any stock, any bond or any other asset class, this is a great place to start once you've decided you do want to invest your money. Here are the five main things I've learned from this book. The first lesson is irrespective of which industry or what area you come from, the first crore of money you make will come only from your income and not from your savings, investments or through money itself. There are two reasons for this. First, you do not have a sufficient capital as a starting point to make money from. Second, you have not given your money enough time to make money out of. Therefore, for early career professionals like us, the first focus should be on increasing our income over most other things. Tied to this point is the second lesson that you should take only those risks where the reward is sufficiently large. For example, you or I could sit and analyze stocks for a year figure out what stock works really well and even make a profit of say 30% on a stock. But if you only have 10,000 rupees to invest, then the reward there of 30% is negligible and we could have rather used our talents, skill, time and efforts elsewhere. The third lesson is that making money work for you creates leverage. The concept of leverage is simple. Normally, if you use X amount of work for Y amount of output, with leverage, you can use X amount of work to get multiples of Y as the output. The fourth lesson is simple but hard to follow. Saving just a little bit more money has a much greater impact on your returns in the long run than finding a brilliant asset to invest in. For example, what this would translate into in my life is just sticking with my old Nokia phone for the next 2-3 years rather than falling into the trap of using my credit card to just get the new cool iPhone. This is not to say that we can't have fun in life with money. As Deepak makes it a point to stress really hard in the book, do have fun with your money, but figure out what you're spending it on, why you're spending it on, and whether it actually brings you joy. The fifth major thing I learned in this book was the difference between things that I thought were very similar, but actually turned out to be very different and could impact your life drastically. For example, there is a huge difference between direct, regular, growth, and dividend funds. Of course, there's a lot more to learn from this book, but it's a very crisp, easy to read, easy to digest book of only around 200 pages. That my friends is why I think you should read this book. If you enjoyed listening to this book recommendation, 
do check out my podcast available on YouTube and Spotify called Books from Abhinav. I also run a newsletter and a blog which are linked in the show notes below. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you.